packed show. Yeah, Look at that, the... packed. It's back to back. Yeah, it's the most I... people we've had on the show ever. The most people we've ever had on the show ever. <laughs> it's true. Until, I'll tell you, that, hey, do you want to hear this? Isn't it a little exciting? We've known about this for quite some time. I can tell you about this now. All week long, beginning October 18th, Every night of the week, that week, here on The Late Late Show, Coldplay will be performing songs from their brilliant new album, Music of the Spheres. They've got a new song every single night, and the first night they're kicking off with a special performance, the global television debut of their new song, Let Somebody Go. It's them and Selena Gomez are going to be here. What about that? Just... It just keeps, it just keeps clicking, doesn't it? I, I think this is the start of something big for Coldplay. I don't think this is the last we've heard from them. I actually think you're right. I actually think you're right. I think they'll see, I think they'll see that week, October 18th, as yeah. an absolute liftoff. <laughs> I really do. Yeah. Start selling some tickets, yeah. some merch. Yeah. Mm? Maybe you, you might start hearing them in, in coffee shops and stuff like that if it goes well. I don't coffee know. Coffee shops. I, you know what I think they'll get? Radio play. Really? Yeah. Sick. Yeah, we're pretty much known to move the needle when it comes to the old airwaves. It's true. It's true. That's what I think is going to happen. Yep. Breaking bands left and right. Breaking bands. The cold plays. They call you, they call you Brian, Bra Brian Banston because you're always break, breaking bands. <laughs> <laughs> if I, can I be honest? That, that wouldn't have worked if you'd got it right. <laughs> I think it worked. I think the fact that your voice went that high when you said it <laughs> tells us all that it didn't. Hey, tell me about your weekend. You oh. went to Disneyland. I went to Disneyland, dude. We had some texts on Sunday. How was it? I loved it. I, I went in feeling kind of cynical. Like, I thought, like, oh, I'm not going to be one of those adults who loves Disneyland. And then, like, 30 seconds later, I saw Eeyore, and I was like, oh, Eeyore! And I loved it. I had so much fun. I was giggling on rides. I ate a donut shaped like Mickey. I couldn't have had a better time. Are you a Disneyland guy, Reg? I think if it was, like, totally empty and they were like, you can check it out and I'll show you around, I'd do that, but I'm not, I'm just, I don't, I don't know. Without kids, I do think it's yeah. weird. And, and, I, and I do heavily judge people that are there without children. Yeah. If I'd seen, if I'd seen you there, I'd have been, like, pulling the kids away. Like, come this way, guys. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You are like one fanny pack away from me being like, keep an eye on them because I, uh, there's something off about them. I was wearing a fanny pack. Yeah. But no, it is weird. It is, it is weird, I think. Well, particularly when you see them getting like a photo. When you see an adult couple getting a photo with like Lightning McQueen, you're like, Grow up. <laughs> Just grow up. Stop it. I Stop now. I felt weird. I felt... To, we you were didn't like... get a photo yes, with a did. character. Stop. <laughs> did you? <laughs> you did, did you really? I got a photo with a character in the background. That's fine. That's good. But I mean the queuing up and you get people, like, hugging, like, Buzz Lightyear, and you're like... You're a 37-year-old accountant they... for Wells Fargo. <laughs> It's just a person in a big suit. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> it's actually making me angry thinking about it. <laughs> There's a height restriction on the rides. There should be an age restriction on photos with characters. Yeah. That's my point. That's all I'm saying. You know, make it, make it, make it 18, because then you're a group of people on a night out, get it, you know, on a big party. But I think when it's like, you know... When it's a grown adult couple getting photos with Woody <laughs> and, like, and, like, the guy is clearly turned on that Woody's, like, hugging his wife. <laughs> Do you, know, you know, and she's like, oh, there's a snake in my boots. And, <laughs> like... I just, that's, that for me, that for me is when I'm like, all right, let's, I get it, you're swingers. You don't need to get... <laughs> i tell you, though, if we're talking about the happiest place on earth, do you know what I consider to be the happiest place on earth? This what? desk.
And do you know why? Do you know why? Because I get to give everyone the news. And of course, there's a huge story today. There was a massive social media outage. Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and even Gmail all went down for hours. Yes. Yeah, with no social media, I actually ended up spending most of the day talking to my son. He's really nice. <laughs> nice guy. I didn't, I didn't know. People... <laughs> People started noticing something was wrong this morning when they felt happy for more than 30 minutes. <laughs> did this affect did this affect anyone here? Was anyone affected? It was brutal. Was it brutal? Yeah. Why? Because of Instagram. Yeah, because apparently I'm completely addicted to looking at it. See, I for felt no very reason. smug. <laughs> but I just I was like what outage? I posted a pretty sick picture of me eating a corn dog that was doing big numbers before the outage. So <laughs> Right. I had a okay. corn dog at Disneyland yesterday. Yeah. I think we ha I think we have it. Yeah. <laughs> and it was doing big numbers and then I think it might be what caused the outage. Oh, you think? Yeah. You think it just went it just blew up so much. After that. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah. I felt fine. I did feel it. Did you? You you really Not felt it. I'm proud of it. I mean, I'm packing. I was so busy, and in my little breaks, I was going to look at who, who's posting what. You know, it's just like a mindless thing I do, and then I couldn't do it. I have to find something, like read a book or something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's get some political news. Sweet. In political news, Democratic leaders Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi have now set October 31st as the new deadline for passing two key spending bills. The new timeline comes after progressives and moderates failed to break their stalemate last week. So, you heard it here first. On Halloween, Congress is going to sit down and they're going to go, you know what, let's push it to Thanksgiving. <laughs> Party leaders are now saying that the larger $3.5 trillion bill will need to be scaled back if they have any hope of passage, so it'll be less build back better and more build back fine. It's fine. It'll do. <laughs> build back. Whatever it is, get it through, build it back. Sure, whatever. Done. If it goes all the way to Halloween, though, if it goes to that deadline, it will be weird watching Congress hash out the final details of a $3.5 trillion bill while dressed as characters from Harry Potter. <laughs> the chair recognises the gentleman from Gryffindor. <laughs> Moving on, Donald Trump is back in the news again. Over the weekend, Trump's attorneys filed a motion in court asking a judge to force Twitter to restore his account. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like someone doesn't have what it takes to cut it on TikTok. <laughs> Trump says the ban violates his First Amendment's rights. Yeah, because we all know the Founding Fathers wanted to make sure a president who was impeached twice could get on a website to yell at Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> and we wanted to tell you about this. A man in the United Kingdom attended a friend's wedding where, unusually, each guest was asked to chip in to pay for the cake. But it gets weirder. After the wedding, the man got a message from the newly married couple saying that they had reviewed security footage and they wanted him to pay an extra $5 because he ate a second slice of cake. <laughs> In my defence, I never knew they were charging per slice. <laughs> the couple said they noticed the guest took a second slice of cake while reviewing footage. Reviewing footage. <laughs> Making this the first time any married couple has actually gone back and watched their wedding video. <laughs> it's just nice that in these uncertain times, it's nice to know that two equally obnoxious people have found each other, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Would you consider this tactic for your wedding, paying for a slice of cake? I love money, but I would feel like such a hypocrite just based on the amount of cake I've housed at weddings over the years. <laughs> but it, getting people to chip in for a I get it. Like, look, weddings are tough, it's difficult, all that thing. But then, but then you imagine the two of them sat like, well, he had a second slice, should we send him a message? Yeah. <laughs> I think we should. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, it was our sacred duty uh, to show you this. Walmart is selling an outdoor decoration called a bark ghost face. There's basically a face that you can put on a tree. Good enough. Until you take a close look at the nose. You know what's coming, Susan. Yeah. 
Have a look for yourself. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> I mean, talk about a woodpecker. <laughs> the bark ghost face is extremely realistic. When it catches you staring at its nose, it even says, um, my eyes are up here. <laughs> Can we see it again? Look at... How does this... How does it make it to market? Like, I'm amazed we're even allowed to show that on CBS. It's gonna be blurred, will that, right? Will that be blurred, Rob? We're OK. We're OK to show that? Yeah. My actual <laughs> looks less like a <laughs> than yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? Think about how many stages that has to go through to get into production. <laughs> hey, guys, you're thinking of making it. It's a face that goes on a tree. Oh, that was a good idea for Halloween. Yeah, Walmart have ordered uh, 300,000. Oh, that'll be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, great. And then these are the prototypes. Did no one go? <laughs> Not one person was like, does it? <laughs> does the nose not look a little? Nothing. Nothing. Now it comes in three sizes. <laughs> Small sized, medium sized, circumcised. Uh -oh. That's the news. We'll be right back with more of the Late Late Show, everybody. <laughs> Thank you.